is just a short walkthrough of some of the new products we have um, just arrived on the website on twilightcrafts.co.uk from Carabelle Studio. Um, so we have some lovely background stamps. Um, we showed some of these on our weekly live um, scrap along on Thursday. And so I thought I would just do a, a quick walkthrough and then just um, a short demonstration to show how I colour some of my Kate Crane stamps. Um, so some of the first um, selection we've got are by Birgit Coopson and I just love um, her background designs. Perfect um, for scrapbook layouts. And then we have a selection of um, the Carabelle stencils. Um, this one is by Kate Crane um, and works brilliantly as a background to some of her stamps. Um, I've got a few of those in stock. Um, we then have um, this one called Fantasy um, by Azaline. Um, we have the um, umbrellas, the kind of um, umbrella um, stencil there. We have this one, Cordage. And so that's our square stencils. I'll show you the, the reverse of one of those there. Um, great quality. Um, and then we've got a couple of the A4 um, stencils. This one is a restock. We um, managed to source these now directly from Carabelle Studio. This one is called um, because I have a, a jelly plate, which I like to use. And then we've got lots of these um, A5 stamps in stock. Um, so some by Kate Crane. Um, this is a lovely heart mask. Um, and that one's almost like a fabric style. And then another leaves background by Kate Crane. So those are um, the stencils. And then we have um, a whole range of Kate Crane stamps. And we have her new range as well as her previous range. I love the fantasy bugs. And I'm just seeing some of her new range here as well. Um, we've got the Here Kitty Kitty. Um, and then some of her newer stamps. I love these, the Mechanicals and Fairy Town and Head and Shoulders. There's lovely little people. And Here Come the Clowns. And then this is my favourite, the sardines and the little people in a tin and the woolly jumpers, the sheep. Um, we've also got some um, small Carabao Studio stamps in stock. Um, we've got the little background words, uh, Kate Crane's little cupcake. And then these are slightly larger. We've got the inky circles, the mixed media butterflies and the lovely circles. So that's just um, a selection of some of the stamps. This is um, another one of my favourite. This is um, um, a, a papillon, the, the beautiful backgrounds and the um, butterfly there with the sort of mixed media. So that's our selection of stamps. So those are all um, live on the website on twilightcrafts.co.uk. But I thought I would start by... Um, just showing how I go about colouring. Now, I'm by no means um, a colouring expert, but I kind of find it is a good good time to, to switch off. So these are some of my stamps. I store them in the Avery L pockets, so I like them all to be in pockets, all stood in a basket upright, and then um, you can see each of the stamps um, come on this little card and they're mounted on easy mount so those just apply to um, a an acrylic block um, and then what I like to do I stamp them in um, archival so I use um, archival ink because it's permanent and it's waterproof 
So I can then um, use watercolours, I can use inks and um, it doesn't bleed the stamped image. So the type of ink you choose is, is quite important to make sure you get um, um, you don't get the bleeding. And then I use um, this little folder which has lots of little pockets. I think I got this one from Amazon, but I then stamp all my images and then I scan them and I cut them out. I've got the lovely um, Kate Crane wooden doll that's on a, a, a wooden stamp. There's my fantasy bugs and I've got my bunnies and I've got my people and dogs. And you can see here, so sometimes, and I take these, if I go on a trip and I want something to keep me busy, I take this little pocket um, organiser with me with my pre-cut images. And then this one I coloured just in pencil crayon. So it's quite a soft, um, and that one wasn't stamped in water, uh, in the archival. That was um, just stamped in Versafine, in black Versafine. But then for these um, ones, I have just used watercolours. So I thought I would just show you quickly how um, I go about colouring one of these images. And then I have them as embellishments on scrapbook layouts, or I, um, I might decide to make some cards, some greeting cards, which I've um, sent to friends. So here's my little stamped image. And on the scan and cut, you can um, scan the stamped image and then you just set a border around um, just a, mi a millimeter or two around the edge and that gives you a really even border and that's why I love the scanning cut because it's just absolutely great for cutting out stamped images because anybody who knows me knows that I don't really enjoy fussy cutting very much um, so then a few things that I would use to um, to colour and a little kit that I take on a holiday with me if I want um, some things to colour. I've got a little palette. I've got a water brush, which I actually use for all colours because I just um, dab it off onto a piece of kitchen paper. I've got a water spray to, to um, water down my um, water uh, watercolours. I've got some kitchen roll and then I've just got a, um, when I say I've just got, I've got a case of watercolour pens. So it's got my little um, colour chart there and I've just got them in a little case. So they're just dual tipped watercolour pens. I do also use distress inks and distress oxides. I sometimes use my um, Vicky Booten art crayons. So anything that's water soluble um, works really well for this. Um, so shall we start? So we've got a little Skittle, Skittles person here, one of Kate Crane's stamps. So I'll go with some um, greens and blues, I think, as a, as a colorway for this one. And I might want a, a flesh colour for the face, possibly, possibly a couple of tones. That's the, the beauty with these um, watercolour pens is you can make different shades. And rather than colouring directly onto the image, I tend to um, get some ink into the palette from the water brush. So you've got a, a very fine tip if you want to add some detail and then you've got a, a wider tip and just the tiniest bit of ink goes a long way and I often just check on a piece of kitchen roll that my brush is clean because you can see from where I've used it before it's got got a bit of green in there now you can use several different water brushes if you want to or you could just use a paintbrush and spray it with water. So you could just water it down with a little spritz. And then you can give an all over colour quite quickly. Um, I just use a smooth white cardstock. I don't tend to use 300 GSM. I think this is 
probably um, this is about 180 GSM thickness. So I've got an all over color, but now I want to build up some shadow. So you can see on some of these that they've got the heavier shadow. So in that case, it's just a case of not watering it down as much. And actually you can add some, while it's still wet, it blends quite well. So you can add some dark colour and go back in and add some shadow to one side. Because all you want to do is pick up some of the ink. You could equally um, just colour onto a piece of acetate if you didn't have a palette. I have been known to just use a saucer from wherever I am on holiday. And because it's still wet, you can build up the shadow. quite nicely and it is quite therapeutic I have to say and there's little arms on the edge of this stamp but it's quite nice to have the folder with all the images in so that when you travel you've got them all pre-cut if you go to a crop or on holiday so then you could decide to just colour this in straight away, the whole thing in a dark purple, but I want to blend it a little bit more. So that's, that's, um, that's the body. And then for the face, now interestingly when you try that out it looks quite yellow quite a yellowy colour so I might get just a little paintbrush and rather than a water brush I can just because I don't want this to mix with purple I want it to be quite a pure colour pick up some of that yellow which is kind of a flesh flesh colour And I think we'll need some little pink cheeks. Cut some of that. So I'm not colouring in the cheeks. I'm going to leave those, go back and do that. And then maybe this nice green for the hat. So I'm going to clean my water brush off, make sure I haven't got too much purple. Pick up the colour. And I quite like these stamps help you to know where the shadows are because they've got these lovely little shadowy dots. Because I'm not very arty, so I need a bit of guidance along the way. And once the cardstock is wet, it does blend. Quite nicely. So you can see there, and then maybe just grab a little pink for the cheeks if I can. Get a nice pinky colour from the selection. Too many pens to choose from, that's the thing. Nice soft. Pink. let's put some pink in here so my brush has got green on so I'm going to clean that off a little bit pick up a little bit of pink maybe a little bit of pink on the hands and that can just be left to dry and that's ready to go onto a card 
and the same with my little fantasy bug let's stick to the same colors as i've got these in my palette already we'll go purples and greens so maybe purple for the center of the body but because there's these little dots that helps me to know where i might add a little bit of depth and shadow maybe a little bit in the center of the circle as well you can see it started to blend and get a bit more ink into the palette i'm going to go this one to be a nice purpley color again a bit of shadow here and let's go some more pink on this one clean my brush don't want too much purple so pink and pink and again i'm gonna make the edges a bit darker so that's looking good. And then this time I'm going to do pink in the centre of these. Make the centrepiece darker. Pink. Make those bits darker. I'm going to do... dots and then I'm going to fill in with the purple so I'm nearly done I'm going to have these so I'm literally sticking with two or three colors I find is best and if you have a color wheel it's really good if you're picking two or three colors to try and look at the color wheel and look at the colors that are close together or opposite one another so that you know which colour palette will go well together and from the classes I've done I just that's helped me to know which colours are going to work best together when I'm colouring in because I like a rainbow so I would end up picking colours that just all clash and that wouldn't be so good so where it's a bit um, shaded with the dots I'll go in with a slightly darker bit of watercolour here but it really is so quick and easy and because when I travel when I go on holiday and I've got children in tow I don't get a lot of time for crafting, but I do miss it if I don't take something with me. I definitely can't take all my scrapbooking kit. So I just take some of this and it just keeps me occupied. So a little bit of dark in here. And that kind of finishes it off. So there is the little fantasy bug so really quick and simple um, a quick way to um, color in your stamped images using watercolor brush pens so i hope you enjoyed that um, we'd love you to subscribe to our youtube channel and also hop on over to our facebook group twilight crop and craft so thanks for joining me everyone Thank you.